Hey, what is up guys? My name is Demos and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make the tape positioning in Blender. So I'm using Team Rig version 6.4 but this really doesn't matter, I'm just having this. And this is a Steve skin actually, I really didn't know what to put here and I didn't want to add Timmy's default skin just for, I don't know, um, actually because I was bored of extruding so yep the first thing you have to do is to append uh, well you can make your own cape it's really easy you just make a square and then make a, add a cape texture and UV unwrap but go to append desktop and take this ready rig you're going to find in the description go folders templates and creations uh, and here is the Minecraft cape rig there will be a link in the description for this rig and the video and here it is appended, but it's appended from the other side because I wrote it the uh, I wrote the rig about 180 just because why not? So actually, this is not a cape rig like C4D, and I'm pretty pretty soon um, I'm pretty sure we're going to find it soon. But I'm going to show you a better positioning. In my opinion, it's really lovely. So I'm going to rotate this by 180 and then move it around uh, about hmm well maybe Z like this so now it might glitch out but uh, I don't really matter so yep now you have that cape but before you do any rotation scales and things you have to press shift A and append uh, a lattice. So we got this lattice, but if you really want this to be better for you, uh, you might click here to the cape, just try to have it to the middle, and then press if day and lattice. So you have the square pattern right here. Now you can scale it easier. So just try to make an outline of the cape um, as exact as exact as possible if you can. So like this maybe well press Z for a wireframe and yeah I I'm trying to scale this uh, just a little bit upper than the tape rig and move it down a little bit like this so yeah pretty much that's it so now what you have to do is to go back to material for a good view um, you can go if this cape glitches. You can go to file, um, user preferences, system, and turn mid map off, and then click save user settings because it's really helpful for you. So now you got this cape, and what you wanna do is just um, I'm going to position it, and to do this, uh, first of all, let's fix how the lattice go right click the lattice and come here I, I don't really know how to say this lattice or lattice yeah so now increase the use by uh, 2 and the double use by 3 so now you can just uh, scale the cape properly but if you move the lattice or maybe do anything in edit mode it won't work so right click the cape uh, you can also position it using tab but it's not so easy as a lattice so go along and go to the modifier section and add a modifier lattice so now if you click this tool you can click the lattice or maybe just click here and choose the lattice it's just the same thing so now you might see that if you uh, right click the lattice press tab and select the specific place you see that warping the lattice is going to warp the cape and now we have uh, basically fixed off something like a free transform tool for our cape. But bear in mind that if you choose both of them, you can move them using the G and R buttons. But if you try to do this, it might glitch out because actually it's not glitching right now. But believe me, it should glitch. Uh, it's glitching because the cape goes the other I don't know, I think I made something right now. So, yeah, just go to the lattice and press Start. So now you basically can choose a specific area. You can click, you can hold C and 
just press C and click to left click to choose anything actually uh, this dem is not really helpful for such a thing but you see that uh, using that is making all the white things uh, blue and you can use the scroll button to deselect anything and um, if you want to move the camera just be sure to right click before using C otherwise it's going to if you have this and choose this it's going to destroy your selection so anyways press A to deselect everything and then let me choose all of the all of the bottom part uh, you really don't have to see the back things because you're obviously looking at them but it will also choose them so now if I warp this thing it's actually going to be like this so for an exact transform let me make it like this and move it behind and as you can see it makes it's really cool so you can also move it using G and warping the cape properly and it's really cool so yeah you can also do this in a instead with exact with the arrows and now uh, deselect anything upper so you can move the bottom part and you can rotate it and move it and rotate it more and move it like this so you can see a fancy rotation or you can also scale it which in my opinion gives a really great detail if you scale it like this and then scale this alone so now you can see that this cape is going straight but yet this bottom part it's it really needs some fix so yeah I don't know it's really glitching but yeah it's still making a realistic cape so now um, I have made some I don't know a normal move in the cape so I will just try to do something cool enough so if you really want to show that the cape is being warped down you can drag the you can drag this up and you know it shows an under thigh an under size so an under thigh is uh, then so you see this drag it up and drag down or you can go ahead and warp this thing down and this thing up it's actually up to you what you're going to do with this I think that makes it more realistic and if I pull it in a little more I mean if I choose all of them and pull it in then it's going for a realistic inner so yeah or maybe an outer but I think the inner is being cooler so just let me do this manually so like this it, I think it makes a great cape but also I'm going to give it some more detail by using this so it's not going down a lot like all the cape and also let me make uh, some instant deforms like if I go up here and scale this or yeah, maybe scaling it up a little bit would be more fancy in my opinion at least and then I'm going to use that for a warp for an upper warp and this maybe move on just be sure not to affect the upper part and then I'm going to draw this up and be like basically yeah so like if I draw this it's going to make the cape wilder and yeah so I believe this is more uh, config that any cape rigs and it's kinda easy it makes a really cool um, it makes a really cool setting now that's what I told you but if you choose them oh there's no problem actually so uh, if I set this like this and drag it up a little bit it's going to make such a fancy move of the cape and yeah so if you really need to rotate it you can always go here and tab and choose all the bottom parts and rotate it and wait rotate and move the but in this case then these drag archers are not going to be fine so drag it up and then inner it doesn't really have to be exact I mean it's up to you and your choice what you 
what you're doing with those things so scaling this up just for a more complex cape and that's fine so now let me position Steve and make a fancy render so yeah now this is a fancy render I guess I could also extrude um, and bringing this up to that I was about to make a tutorial on the realistic renders point too uh, so actually let me warp this thing a little bit so well yeah I was about to make the tutorial but um, well I was using the solify technique long before but actually Timmy made a video on this extrude and when um, he released this trick I'm using right now so I didn't really know if you want me to cover this section actually he was doing a lot of things and covered all of the bugs I couldn't actually it's sure because he's a professional user of it and the creator of the rig I guess but yeah I have really found out uh, things on game 2 so I really want to make tutorials and yeah I think I'm going to make a tutorial on the extrude section just because I don't know I just want to show you again what I'm doing because I'm using some diff I'm doing a different thing than Timmy because I'm for an upper part of the head I'm using the old extrude um, so yeah I think you would really like me if you'd like me to do this then you might uh, say it in the bottom of the video so yeah that's basically how to make the cave motion thanks for watching uh, if you like this, please like the video, and if you really need anything of other tutorials, uh, tell me down in the comments. So, see you next time.